are the Tetra 6 in 1 test strips good enough for you to test your aquarium water? That is a question many hobbyists ask themselves, and they ask experts, and you get varying answers. Corey from the Aquarium Co-op says that the test strips are pretty good. They test fairly close to what he gets with his API Master Test Kits. But there are other people, and I'm sure if you're a breeder and or a perfectionist, you will probably want to use the API master test kit to where you can get super accurate and detailed results. So I decided to run my own test and here you will see on my Tetra 6 in 1 test strip I had a nitrate reading of by my eyes I would say about 40. My nitrite was 0 and my pH was pretty high I would say somewhere between 8 and 8.2. Uh, I can tell it's not 8.4 and I can tell it's not 7.8. So how does this compare to the API Master Test Kit? The API Master Test Kit has two different ranges for pH and it really goes down into fine detail on what your pH is and I will admit that there are certain situations where you need to know whether your pH is 8.0 or 8.2 or 6.0 or 6.2 but in looking at my Tetra 6 in 1 test strip I could tell I had a high pH so that is the test I ran in the API test and in looking at this picture I would say my pH was approximately 8 which is pretty much the range I guessed from the test strip now while I could tell that my nitrates were in the safe range, I usually change the water when they're around 20 and I was do a water change and with my nitrates, uh, me guessing about a reading of 40, it was a good time for me to test it with the API Master Test Kit that I had recently purchased. And in looking at this picture, my guess was right on. The nitrates were 40 with the API Master Test Kit. My Tetra 6-in-1 test strip tested zero on nitrites and I was very curious how this would compare to the API Master Test Kit. But as you can see from the picture, it was perfectly right on. I have zero nitrites. I have never acquired any of the Tetra Ammonia Test Strips. Uh, I see they make them, but I have not ordered any, and I have always used the API Ammonia Test Kit. However, when I use this ammonia test kit, I always have a hard time trying to determine if my ammonia is 0 or 0.25 parts per million. What do you all think? In the future, I plan to purchase some Tetra ammonia test strips and do a comparison video comparing it to the API ammonia test kit just to see if I can tell the difference between the low or zero reading. If you subscribe and click on the bell to be notified of any new videos, you will be notified once I run that test.